welcome to Cobra Kai Studio. I'm your host, Daniel Sun, and tonight's another fan questions debate video. If you're not familiar with what my fan question debate videos are, you can comment theories, ideas, speculations, comments. You can answer the questions we talk about. You can comment whatever you want, and it'll be included in the next fan question video. So, what we do on these videos is we, you know, I mention your comments. Um, I'm going to be including the comments, uh, like a comment video, kind of showing all the comments we're going to talk about for tonight. As I get more time, eventually we'll start, you know, adding just the comments as we get to that question but usually i'm short on time so i gotta kind of you know put it together as quick as i can but we're gonna start off with my um community tab that i finally got to use today which there's only two so i won't be too too many to take away from the other questions that we have to go over and if we don't get to anybody's questions in tonight's video that commented we will add them to the next fan question video of course or the first fan question live that i'll be able to do here soon as soon as i can get the live feature but we're going to start off with Matt Thompson. He said, Kyler being in the dojo. Some people think and are saying that Hawk and Kyler will team up. I'm thinking that Hawk kicks his butt and that it's Kyler that Hawk is punching in the trailer when he has no shirt on and obviously you know the blood on his hands. What do you think? Me personally, Matt, that is a good, good idea because there are a lot of people that are thinking that. Me personally, though, as far as the trailer goes, I don't think that that's who he's punching. I personally think... That he is punching the ground, a punching bag, maybe something else along those lines. I think something happens, and it could be because of Kyler coming back, but something happens that really pisses Hawk off to no end. And I think he's just taking out his anger on some kind of something, you know? That's my speculation. Because it just doesn't seem like he's actually punching someone. It, it just don't. Not to me, you know. But it doesn't mean that's not the case. It just doesn't seem like that's what he's doing to me. Now... As far as him teaming up, I'd say there's a chance that it could actually happen. But at first, there's going to be a conflict, I feel like. You know, Kyler bullied Hawk. Hawk ain't just going to openly accept Kyler, I don't think. Not even if Kreese tries to force it. I don't think he'll openly accept Kyler, at least not at first. So maybe after a few sparrings, maybe after an actual fight, things might change between Hawk and Kyler. Might. So that's my possibility and theory on that. Maybe you all have a different idea, and that's what these videos are about. I want to hear all your opinions and ideas, of course. You know, these videos are our videos to enjoy together as a community, so don't hold back. Let me know how you feel. If you don't like the way I I said it or you just don't agree with it, let me know. I'm not, I'm not going to get It's not going to hurt my feelings, you know. <laughs> we're a community, and then we're not going to agree on everything. So on to the next one from Tigrel009. What if the Season 3 finale is Johnny and Daniel fighting? Like, for real. Kreese has never accepted that Johnny lost to Daniel. He even told Daniel, you may have got the best of Johnny Lawrence once, but I won't let him lose again. What if to free or save someone or something, maybe even Miguel's from Miguel's father, they have to face off again? Maybe at some organized fight by Kreese and Silver? I also think Silver could be connected to uh, Miguel's father. I guess another possibility is Mike Barnes and the LaRusso round two. I saw some episode titles leaked a few weeks ago, don't know if they're legit. Episode 10 was supposedly called December 19th, which would fit with Daniel and Johnny rematch. I've seen those as well, um, T-Girl. And you know what? I don't know that we'll get a Johnny and Daniel fight, but I love your theory. If I, I never thought of it in that kind of a way that, you know, Kreese might pretty much put, in, put it into motion that they have to fight for some, you know, reason. And I like that. That is interesting. That is something that I could actually see Kreese doing, so... You know, I appreciate your comment because, like I said, sometimes these comments open up my, my my ideas and, you know, my brain to thinking into different ideas and different outcomes. And, you know, I never thought of that. That is really interesting. And maybe it could be something that possibly happens, you know. And a, a Daniel-Mike Barnes fight would be also pretty badass as well. I would love to see them two, you know, go at it again. And the December 19th would fit, though, to a Daniel and Johnny rematch. I do agree on that. That is something I could actually see possibly playing out i don't know maybe maybe you all have a different idea or maybe you agree let me know what you think i, I really like that comment because that, that is something that we could actually possibly see now will we i don't know but we might and if so that that's really badass you know i love that idea it, it's really interesting now on to the first comment from the actual video it is from in our mashups hey bro when do you think the trailer for season three will come out well Sorry, this is a late fan questions video to respond to that, but you know, obviously, you already know it's already out. <laughs> On to the next one from Sir Telly Godslayer. You can train in fighting while on probation, even on parole. See, interesting. See, I didn't know. I wasn't sure. I figured you would be able to because it wouldn't really make sense to not be able to, but you just never know. I guess it just, you know, I just figured you never know what the way states are. It could be different, but thank you for letting me know for sure. On to the next comment from Aaron. What if Amanda tells the dealership 
to te- or sells the dealership to Terry Silver when Daniel's in Okinawa. Well, I'm gonna say if if, if Amanda was to do that, Daniel would be super pissed. <laughs> but personally, I don't think Amanda would do that. Now, I did see a very interesting, very interesting tweet comment response that uh, Team Rubakava Network shared on his Instagram, where John Hurwitz. You know, a fan had commented something about the fact that Amanda was Kreese's dad, and it was it was really interesting. I'll, I'll add it in here to this clip so you can see what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen the post or the Twitter comment, it, and it was really interesting. It makes me wonder if Amanda really is Kreese's daughter. There's something I wanted to throw in there as a little extra because I thought that was really interesting. On to the next one from C19. Has anyone ever noticed that when Miyagi blindfolds Julie in the next Karate Kid, it was Daniel's headband? Honestly, no, I didn't, C-19. I've, I haven't watched that movie in a very long time. So, no, I, I mean, maybe when I first watched it when I was younger, maybe I might have noticed something like that. But it's been way too long since I've watched that movie that I didn't notice that. So that's interesting. On to the next one from Aaron. My theory is that John Kreese will fight Daniel and he has a heart attack. And Terry Silver walks into the hospital and tells John Kreese he will get revenge on Daniel and what he and what he did to you for what he did to you. Now, that's an interesting theory, uh, Aaron. A lot of people seem to think that Kreese might have a heart attack. I mean, yeah, obviously he smokes cigars and probably isn't in the best health because of that. And he is obviously older. But I don't know if they'll take him out with a heart attack. In my opinion, I feel like if they're going to take Kreese out, it's going to be something different. I don't think a heart attack would be what's going to take him out. But I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm not the writers of the show. I, I don't have any behind-the-scenes knowledge of what they're doing. It's just, a, you know, obviously I'm a fan. It's just a fan speculation here at this point. So, in my opinion, I would say no. But maybe you all think something different. And if you do, let me know, you know. On to the next one from Aaron. I would like to know who Dimitri's parents are, you know. I mean, it could be interesting. Obviously, they haven't showed us... Maybe because it doesn't play an important role to the show, or maybe it does and we just don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of kids, though, that we don't know who their parents are. You know what I mean? We know who Hawk's mom is. We don't know anything else besides that point. We don't know who Tori's parents are yet. We don't know who Moon's parents are exactly. We don't know. You know what I mean? There's a lot of characters that we don't know whose parents are, so maybe they don't need to be known. Maybe they do. But nonetheless, interesting comment. On to the next one from Richie Plays. What do you think Daniel is... What do you think of Daniel doing a crane kick to Kreese's face? And when he gets jumped by Kreese, Silver, and Barnes, Daniel goes to his dark side and uses his moves from Cobra Kai. And because of the No Mercy stuff, he accidentally kills Kreese. Hmm. I, I don't know, you know? I, I, I wouldn't say that it couldn't happen. I just don't know that it, we would see it happen. I, I don't know. What do you all think? Do you think it's possible that Daniel could accidentally kill Kreese from anger, you know, being... You know, just built up with rage, and if he get if he's getting you know for say jumped by Silver Barnes and, and Crease, I mean anything's possible. I mean he could even introduce weapons if he's training with weapons. I mean there's a lot of things that could possibly play out in that kind of a situation and scenario. So I'm I'm kind of kind of curious to that that comment. I actually like it. Thanks for commenting that, Richie. It's 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 definitely a a thinker. <laughs> I I just I don't know. I don't I don't know if I would see that happening. You know, but in in, in this you know, Cobra Kai universe, it, anything's actually possible, so we won't rule that one out, we'll definitely be thinking about that one when we get to watch in season three for sure, on to the next one from Aaron, what if Daniel gets back from Okinawa, and then he sees Mike Barnes train Miguel, or Miyagi-Do students, or was talking to Amanda, I don't think that we would see that in any case, in my opinion, I don't know exactly if Amanda might be close to Mike Barnes, now let's say that, you know, Terry Silver, knows Amanda, Mike Barnes knows Amanda, I would imagine that the whole Amanda's, Kreese's daughter would have to be true for that to be a situation, I, I just feel like that would be something that would have to be true before any of those other things could happen, now let's just say, yeah, Amanda's, Kreese's daughter, let's just assume that that's 100% true, then yeah, maybe there's a possibility that Mike Barnes already knows Amanda as well as Silver, and if that's the case, I mean, who knows what, if they're friends or what, how she would react, you know, we don't know exactly what all she knows about Mike Barnes and Daniel, or Silver and Daniel, for that matter, so I wouldn't fully rule it out, but I also wouldn't say it's a for sure thing. Now, on to the next one from Aaron, do you think that we will learn who Amanda's parents are if she has brothers and sisters? Yeah, I do, actually, Aaron, I think we will get some kind of a backstory to Amanda, and maybe if it's just the slightest bit, I feel like we will maybe figure out who her parents are. And if it is Crease, that is going to be a hell of a mind twist. Honestly, like, who here honestly 
thinks it's crease. I really want to know which one of you all thinks it's crease and which one of you don't. I want to know why you think it is and why you don't because it's really interesting. And ever since I've seen the, the post that TRN posted, that's had me so, so puzzled. Like, is Amanda Crease's daughter? Like, that? that's really crazy. If so, I mean, and the, and the story behind that comment where, you know, John Herbert is like, sometimes the fan hit the, hell, the nail on the head with the hammer, whatever, whatever you posted, you know, it's like, damn, um, that's kind of messed up, because basically the comments, you know, about him, <laughs> Amanda pretty much being a plant to get back at Daniel, and then she ended up falling in love with Daniel kind of situation, and is that why she goes and slaps Crease because Crease is coming back and causing all this havoc among the students, you know, between Daniel, Johnny, etc., I mean, it, it's really interesting. On to the next one from uh, Sir Telly Godslayer. Just so you know, Chris doesn't die. Watch Cobra Kai Kid interview with Martin Cove. He talks about being in season four. I did watch that. But here's the thing, though. If if the character is going to die, he's not going to reveal that regardless, you know. Now, I do agree, though. I don't think he might. I, I, I'm actually thinking he might not die because of that video as well, you know. He did state he'll be in season four. But... Obviously, though, if a character is going to die, they're not going to spoil it. So they would have to play along as if they're going to be in season four, if you understand what I mean. But I do agree, though, it is very possible that he's not going to die and he's not one of the big three that's going to die. And if that's the case, then we had it all wrong about Chris and there's somebody else we're not expecting that could die. Maybe it's Hawk. Maybe it's somebody else. You know, I've seen so many different possibilities from all of us amazing fans. And we've come up with so many great theories and ideas that. You know, there's just so much to think about and so much that could play out that I don't know who's right yet, you know? Now, obviously, the fans have came up with a lot of theories that were confirmed in the trailer. But what else is confirmed or not confirmed? You know, what's debunked? We don't know exactly yet. Well, you know, we're getting closer, whether it be January 1st or January 8th, because I don't know where I stand on that one either. But I do have a few ideas that we'll be talking about in a future video. On to the next one from Woken Bro. The final battle needs to be like Avengers Endgame, dude. Daniel versus Johnny, or Daniel and Johnny versus Kreese. Now that would be an epic way to end the season, I'm not going to lie. Seeing Johnny and Daniel team up versus Kreese, or maybe Johnny, Daniel versus Kreese and Silver, which other people speculated that as a possibility. And I like that, because that would be a good way to end the finale. And then have some kind of crazy cliffhanger where someone either gets hurt or something, or we don't know if they die, or something along those lines to actually fully end that episode. If it's the case, that's really interesting. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I can't wait for season three so much. I know all of us are on the same page here, but there's just so much that I want answers to, and I can't wait to make videos and talk about everybody's, you know, fan questions that are that were right, and the, the theories that we had that were wrong, etc. You know, because I've had theories that are that were right and wrong so far on the trailer as well. So it's it's always nice to know where we were right and where we were wrong, and you know, and then we get to puzzle and speculate for season four for a year. <laughs> On to the next one from Aaron. Will Dimitri's parents be in Cobra Kai season three? Mm, I don't know. I I would say no. That's just kind of my speculation. Is I'd say no, Aaron. I don't think they will, but you know, they could honestly throw it in there. You know, maybe if it's just a little short clip thing, they could throw it in there. I mean, we don't know if they're going to have, like, a big meeting because of the kids getting in a fight and then all the parents, you know, have to come for everybody that was involved. So, that's very possible. On to the next one from Roken as well. Chris burns down Miyagi-Do and the final battle is at the Miyagi-Do dojo. That's also another interesting way that the season could conclude... I could see Chris doing that. I don't know if he'd go as far as burning it. Like, we've talked about this before. Someone's commented that before, that, that what if Chris burns Miyagi-Do. I don't know if Chris would go that far, but I don't know that he wouldn't either. He is he is Chris, you know, after all. he. I don't know. That one's interesting. I, I would say that I'm kind of stuck in the middle of I could see it happening, and I can also see many reasons why it wouldn't happen. On to the next comment from Jeff Bayless. With the new poster with Chris and Hawk on one side and Miguel and Johnny on the other... Those will be your badasses. That is very possible. A lot of speculations about, you know, obviously Hawk's going to be much more of a badass, I feel like. You know, he really is going to be much more of a badass in this in this season. But so is Dimitri, it's seeming like. You know, Dimitri's obviously going to be stepping his game up, it seems like, for this, for this season. Which I think is going to lead to him being even more of a badass in season four. I don't know if it'll change my opinion of, of Dimitri or not. You know, like... As of right now, you know, he's not in my top five characters, obviously. I don't think he'll ever be in my top five characters. But, I don't know. He might raise up some ranks. He might not be down there at the bottom anymore. We'll we'll see when we get there. (laughs) 
Let me know what you think. Where, where would Dimitri be on your ranking? Is he on your more of your top five, one of your favorite characters? Is he down there with your, hey, you can kind of take him or leave him characters. <laughs> on to the next one from C19. Aaron Tori. Aaron Tori was at his side with Hawk after both had been beat down. They, then they were both seen with Kreese at the end of the night when Johnny returned to the dojo to find Kreese training him. I feel like Kreese may have warned them to lay low at the dojo until they know how the police are going to look at the school fight. We know we have no idea who is in trouble except Robbie and how it's going to play out. That is true. We don't exactly know what is going to happen to all these students, you know, because obviously Robbie wasn't the only one involved. Yes, Robbie was the only one to really cause a very serious injury. I wouldn't say that he's the only one to cause injuries. Like, you know, both Miguel and Robbie caused each other some injuries. Obviously, Miguel got the short end of the stick there. But also, Sam and Tori caused each other injuries. And Hawk and Dimitri, well, I'd say more of Hawk got injured a little bit. Dimitri really didn't get injured in that fight, honestly. But still, it, it does make me wonder what, what all we might see as far as that. Now, on to the next comment from Banzai Kai Dojo. Well done as always. Thank you, Sensei. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you for commenting and commenting and always, you know, supporting and ha helping me out and hanging out whenever you can. I appreciate it. On to another comment from C19. daniel son, you're supposed to hate or feel sorry for Dimitri. I don't feel sorry for him. I'm just glad he finally stood up to Hawk. But what were or was... What were or was or happened to him between kicking Hawk and Hawk being in the scene when where Miguel fell, falls? You know... I'm not going to feel sorry for Dimitri. <laughs> it's just, you know, he's not one of my favorite characters, so I'm not going to feel sorry for him. But I am I am glad to see him kind of step at his game up and becoming a, a better student as far as that goes. But as to where was he or what happened to him between kicking Hawk and Hawk being in the scene where Miguel falls, that's a good question. I don't know. You know, maybe he took off to hide. Maybe he felt like he was going to get in trouble. I don't know. You know, Dimitri seems like the type to go and hide if he feels like he's going to get in trouble. So maybe that's the possibility. Maybe you all have a different idea, though. Let me know what you think. But, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll see where, where Demetri goes in this season. <laughs> Maybe he'll change and won't be such a, a hidey, scaredy kid. I don't know. I don't know how else to really describe him. <laughs> On to the next one from Woken Bro, which is a response to the last fan question videos. Most likely Miguel or Demetri. If Demetri actually becomes stronger and stops being a little baby and accepts being hit and kicked, then he'll be the badass. Yeah, I agree, you know. He's got a lot of growing up to do, honestly, and he's got a, a lot of... Uh, learning how to be a not such a whiny baby all the time you know like not that he's a whiny i don't know i don't know he, he's just one of those characters that kind of irritates me with certain things the way he acts but maybe we will see him change as as, as we you know get to see how the season develops on to the next one from roy johnny would sweep daniel in three matches daniel doesn't stand a chance he was amazingly lucky the first time he wasn't that good of a fighter if you remember from karate kid one his style was just tricky for others to figure out because nobody knew his style but people have seen it now especially johnny and is ready to counter it that is a good point roy and i do agree i i think johnny would be able to take daniel in a, in a full-blown fight nowadays you know i i do agree with that and the fact that i think johnny you know starting to train again before daniel did in, in in the series gives him a little bit more of an advantage as well you know so that's a very good good explanation to why you feel you know johnny would beat daniel in a, in a fight if they were to actually get in a fight again so i really enjoy that one roy on to your next comment the only reason i think there are connections between silver and mike to Tori and miguel is silver's manipulation he loves to orchestrate stuff like that he probably made sure Miguel and Johnny lived in the same apartment. He probably made sure Kyler bullied Miguel and his friends. He probably holds loans on Daniel's dealership buildings and owns the apartment. He probably made sure that Carmen couldn't get a lease at other apartments in the area. And he probably made sure Carmen got the job at that hospital. You know, Silver is such a manipulated person. I could see him doing every one of those above. I really could. Now, did he? I don't know. Obviously, we don't know yet. But I wouldn't disagree at all with you there Roy. i do agree that the way silver is i could see him doing that i mean that seems like something i would fully see silver doing you know i really do and i'm sure you all might agree with that it's very possible on to the next one from cobra kai net i think what should happen is john crease is about to die in the hospital and johnny goes to see him but then crease says johnny i want you to remember one thing and then johnny says what then crease says cobra kai never dies and crease dies you got real deep right there, Cobra Kai Nat. <laughs> you know, I, maybe, you know, we do know that even though 
Kreese took the dojo from Johnny, he did kind of state it as if he did it for a, a purpose of some sort. So maybe he does still kind of care about Johnny, you know, and does indeed want Johnny back on his side at some point in time. And maybe he would do that, you know, maybe if he was on his deathbed and, you know, obviously Johnny was, uh, you know, there. Maybe, maybe, but I don't know. On to the next one from Christopher. Hey, sorry, I'm not here to comment on any of the questions. I just want to ask if you could check out Cobra Kai Kid's interview with Martin Cove. You would have to catch it in what Martin says, but he has revealed that he does not die at the end of Season 3. He's scheduled to film Season 4 on the 20th of January. That's when filming begins, unless he's going to film flashbacks, but I don't think that's it. Yeah, that's a good, po- that's a good point. You know, I, I don't obviously know either exactly where what we can expect from crease as far as moving forward into you know season four i maybe you know like maybe he is there to film flashbacks but i do agree that i don't know that that's the case i think crease might not be one of the characters we're gonna see die i think we might get to see crease a little bit longer and i actually would like that he didn't die honestly i feel like his character is needed for the show and adds a lot of conflict to the show that's much needed whether they bring silver back or not i I think crease is someone that we kind of do need so I do agree with you there, and I feel like we should honestly still see him moving forward into Season 4, or maybe even Season 5 before they decide to get rid of him, if they do at all, you know? On to the next one from C19. So I have a firm belief that Silver is not Miguel's dad. However, I'm on the belief that Stingray is Tori's half-brother. I think Silver is in fact Tori's father, and she has an older mother. However, I do not believe Silver was living in his home in Karate Kid 3. I don't think he had the money we perceived him to have and that it's why it was why he was in south america because he has screwed up his father's industry maybe due to worrying about more about what crease than the business he ended up on uh, that he ended up on his own you know that's interesting i've not ever heard anybody speculated about or speculate about crease in that way or not crease silver in that way maybe he didn't you know and i i don't think that silver's miguel's dad either i don't think he's tor she's tori's he's tori's father either though i think he's tori's grandfather in my opinion that's just kind of the new belief that i have because of the way some of the information out there kind of seems to lead to but i don't know you know it's just one of those that i i I wouldn't i'm I'm neither here or there with that one (laughs) you know i i feel like it could be and it could not be now as far as maybe silver didn't have as much money as we thought i don't know i mean he kind of seemed like he had a lot of money but it could have been a front too i mean people do lie and try to play this role that they're not so i wouldn't rule it out honestly on to the next one from roy of course we want to see chuck norris and cobra kai pat johnson the choreographer of karate kid one when the choreographer of the franchise was good <laughs> and played the referee a student of chuck's and headed chuck norris to school in sherman oaks he headed chuck norris's black belt competition team and and johnson's is also the executive executive and vice president of chuck's united fighting arts federation chuck also made a similar appearance in sidekicks a karate kid copy where he shows up at the end of the movie to help this karate kid type character win a tournament against a cobra kai type school yeah i think i think it would be interesting if they brought chuck norris in i mean i wouldn't rule it out as a possibility that that can never happen i'd also like to see jackie chan in there and i don't know if he'd reprise his role from the movie that shall not be mentioned but maybe a new role you know yeah you know, I, I i think it'd be interesting to bring jackie chan in there maybe not for like something serious but just like some kind of something you know would be kind of interesting i feel like on to the next one from c19 so how come in, Ki- in the coyote creek episode it's blistering heat at miyagi do and cobra kai is in a, in the hoodies and long sleeves how far are the dojos from each other <laughs> i'm aware that the fight scene in the woods was filmed in georgia and it was freezing cold but was this a mistake by the creators or is there a message in where coyote creek is yeah you know that is interesting you know especially because of where you know cobra kai is supposed to take place i don't think they would be in a jacket hoodie situation so you do make a very good point there that is interesting i don't know exactly where i would go about answering it maybe you all have an answer to that but i don't know that is interesting on to the next one from woken bro there should be a scene where dimitri and hawk fight and dimitri wins and goes to hawk and one messes up hawk's hair and calls him lip kid And two, get some scissors and cut some of Hawk's mohawk. (laughs) Man, that would be a hell of a scene. I'm not going to lie. I could only imagine what that would do to Hawk mentally. (laughs) Like, I imagine that would really take a toll on him, you know, from flipping the script to being this badass to being once again 
not such a badass, you know? <laughs> so, thanks for calling me, man. That is a very interesting comment. That that would be so crazy to see, I'm not going to lie. On to the next one from C19. Okay, so maybe I'm reading too much into it, but has anyone else noticed that the, in the episode where Miguel takes out on Sam as his lab partner, she brushes against Dimitri and he sniffs his, sh and he sniffs his shirt. Now, in Coyote, the Coyote Creek episode, Dimitri rubs his face on Sam and she immediately rubs it back off of his shirt. Maybe this is nothing or it could be a subtle hint thrown out that on out there on a connection. What do you think? Sam and Dimitri. Now that I've never thought of. I've heard people say Sam and Tori, but I've never heard of Sam and Dimitri. That's an interesting comment, C19. What do you all think? You think Dimitri could pull Sam? You think there's a connection? I don't know, man. That one's... That one's one of those that I don't know where I stand on that. I guess I could see it possibly happening. I don't know, man. I like that comment, though. That definitely has me thinking, like, would we ever possibly see Sam and Dimitri be a couple? You know, that that's interesting. On to the next one from C19. So I have a new opinion I'd like to throw out there. I don't know if this has been discussed before, but maybe. So I'm, I'm with Daniel Sun 100% on the fact that Tori is a plant. However, I think she may have really fell for Miguel, and that's something she and whoever put her there didn't anticipate happening. Now, think about this. At the playground, it was Tori digging in a way she could, and in and in, in any way she could. At the roller rink, it could still be, it could still just be a hate for Sam as motivation, but at Moon's party, when she falls, she pushes Miguel away when he tries to help her up. This is an indication to me that she isn't mad at Miguel or Sam, but at herself. Because she realized she's the only one wanting to beat up Sam to prove herself to Miguel. That's not her reason for being there. But she loves him. And then she's seeing him kissing Sam. That's the last straw. She reverts back to why she's there in the first place. Tori, no doubt, has a much larger role to play. Anyway, tell me what you think. Yes, I do agree that, you know, I think Tori was planted there. Now, I actually will agree with you on this. I think that that's something that we've seen happen. I think that Tori was there as a plant. And unfortunately for her actually developed feelings for Miguel which led to her being conflicted and not knowing how to handle her new you know feelings for Miguel and I think you're right it could be possible that it caused you know these issues to happen that we've seen happen and that's why things played out the way they did maybe you know I actually do kind of agree there uh, C19 I appreciate you for commenting that's a hell of an idea theory you know it, and it is something that is actually possible if you think about it it, it could be something that plays out I do think she was a plant and it is very possible that her motives was to do something else. And along the way, she actually developed feelings for Miguel, which now led to, unfortunately, her not knowing how to handle it. Things going out of the way. And then, you know, she sees Miguel and Sam kiss. So, you know, that kind of brought her back to her headspace of why she was there in the first place. And that could be very possible. That's going to be it for this one, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please smash, or as I always say, sidekick the hell out of that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to me already. Turn the notification bell on. You know, make that thing ding. And, you know, I want to say some special thanks to Bonsai Kai Dojo, Guest Sensei and Sensei, as well as Cobra Kai Fandom, Team Rubicaba Network, Cobra Kai Nation, Cobra Kai Kid, all the other amazing badass YouTubers that exist out there. You know, we have uh, Watch Party, Cobra Kai Companion. You know, there's so many that are so badass and so epic. They're all in my description, so if you're not subscribed to them, you should be, honestly. You should have been subscribed to them before you're subscribed to me, in my opinion. But, you know, just wanted to throw that out there. I want to say thank you to all of you. You know, we're all a badass, epic Cobra Kai community. And, yeah, that'll that'll be it for this one, everyone. Uh, don't forget to leave any comments, theories, ideas, questions, whatever you want to leave about it. And, yeah, don't forget to stay badass.